Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, December 10th, HBO, we're going to have Terrence Crawford you know, in place of Gennady Golovkin, because as you guys know, the date was originally for GGG to fight Neil Jacobs, and that fight fell through. There's still negotiations that should take place. We're here in sometime January, but sometime early in 2017. So Terrence Crawford is now in his place, and, you know, I wanted to see Terrence Carver. When I heard about this, there were only two opponents that I wanted to see Terrence Carver that made sense. One of them is now fighting Adrian Broner on my birthday, and that's Adrian Granados. So, you know, I can't fault him for that. But I also said Amir Mom. Amir Mom should fight Terrence Carver. That'd be a great fight. Uh, stylistically, it's a it's a good matchup. You know, it would be Terrence Carver in there with somebody who's not only has a four inch reach advantage on him, but is youthful, athletic, has a lot of power, you know, could really be a good test for him. And I know a lot of people are writing off Imam because of how he lost his last notable fight, but I've always thought, even before that loss, that Amir Imam was one of the hardest matchups for Terrence Crawford. And I still do, I still maintain that. I still think Amir Imam will be a, a, a good fighter and someone to watch at 140. But uh, with that being said, December 10th, Terrence Crawford will be fighting John Molina Jr. And am I excited for this fight? Absolutely not. I'm not excited for this fight at all. I'm, I'm going to tell you what, guys why. Because we talk about the landscape of boxing, right? And you guys already know, for those who follow this channel, the best fighter in boxing, bar none, but without a shadow of a doubt, is Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. That, that guy is on another level. I think he's going to be one of the greatest fighters ever lived when it's all said and done. And he's proven that, moving up in different weight classes, beating the top guys in these weight classes. So... Obviously, he's going to be number one until he gets knocked off that throne. But of the guys below him, you know, you have your Golovkins, you have your Kovalevs, you know, Ward is in the mix, although he shouldn't be in the mix because he hasn't beat anybody in years. Uh, you have Crawford, you have uh, Takayama, what's his name? Uh, Shinsuke Yamanaka, Carl Frampton, Francisco Vargas, Lomachenko. There's only two guys really on the, currently on the power panelists. There's only two guys not named Roman Gonzalez um, who I could see not for a year or so, but being that number one guy for multiple years. But they got to get the right fights. And that and those two guys are Vasil Lomachenko because of his skill and the way he just destroying, beating up on these dudes so early on in his career. And Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford has incredibly great skill. His ability to stay on the outside, but still display enough fighting spirit to get in there and bully people, you know, I, I think makes him one of the better fighters in the sport right now. And... You know, to fight a guy like John Molina, I mean, his last fight, he beat Victor Paul, so that was a fight everybody wanted to see. Yeah, he won it. It wasn't like a normal Terrence Crawford fight where he won, wins it in convincing fashion. It was it was rather boring for Terrence Crawford, but he got the job done. He beat the guy at 140 outside of himself and unified titles. And he right now, he's in a very great position. But, you know, I thought Amir, the Amir Mom fight, I know a lot of you guys are saying, well, why should you fight Amir Mom? Amir Mom lost. Amir Mom doesn't have a chin. Amir Mom. Listen, Amir Mom is a way better fight for him, than, as far as for the fans, than John Molina Jr. John Molina Jr., look, I know some of you guys out there think this is okay, and it is, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. I'll give, I'll give proper that, because Molina is a name. He does have some name recognition, but. I mean, honestly, guys, when you look at his resume, yeah, he, he, he beat Pravonikov in his last fight. But the simple fact of the matter is, John Molina Jr. has not won a significant fight in his career since 2013. You, you would have to go all the way back to, not excluding Pravonikov before that, you would have to go all the way back to 2013 when he fought Mickey Bay. And Mickey Bay was up on the cards and Mickey Bay was an undefeated fighter. Um, and John Molina was able to stop him later on in the fight. Since then, you know, he's he's gotten two wins against Cans and Jorge Pimentel and Jorge Romero. He's lost to Lucas Matisse, Humberto Soto, and Adrian Broner. And that's really what his career has been. So I don't think he really has a chance against Crawford. He has a puncher's chance, but skill for skill, there's no way in hell he's in Max Crawford. And I watched a recent interview with him where he was saying, well, I have a lot of boxing skill. And I have all these new skills tricks that I've never displayed before. B.S. The only reason he looked that good and he could do that is because he fought a guy, Ruslan Pravonikov, who has no lateral movement. And it is it, 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 pretty much anybody can box against Pravonikov. Matisse, who's not really a natural you know, boxer like that, box circles around Pravonikov. Algerian box circles around Pravonikov. 
Molino is able to box circles on Bronikov. Bronikov's a one-dimensional fighter, an exciting one-dimensional fighter, but a one-dimensional fighter who's been in too many wars. And I give him credit. He beat he beat a guy who I didn't think he was going to beat, so he gets credit for that. But it's just not a fight that I can get excited for. I'm going to watch it because Terrence Crawford's a guy that I really enjoy, but I can't really get excited for it because John Molina Jr. on the night when he really comes to beating those top guys, you know, I don't even consider Adrian Broner a top guy, but Adrian Broner is a top name as far as his name recognition and people giving respecting him. And he didn't he he really laid an egg against Adrian Broner. Like, and I'm not talking about like laying an egg as far as like, you know, he just lost. No, I'm talking about like he didn't even like he showed up to that fight. And I don't know a lot of people who have criticized John Molina Jr. of taking the dive and we're well, not taking the dive, but just being paid off because he didn't look like the John Molina we're just seeing. And people have every right to feel that way because really it looked like everything but it looked like everything opposite of what John Molina really is, which is a aggressive fighter who comes who comes who comes for war and goes for broke. Uh, so hopefully he's getting another chance, uh, one more chance than he deserves. Uh, he's getting another chance against the guy at 140. And John Molina Jr., you need to take this seriously. You need to come to this fight. You need to. You know, any anything, any skills that you have never shown before, you need to show them in this fight. This needs to be the fight of your life. You need to take it seriously. Do not rest on your laurels. Because really, I'm not excited for this fight. You're in a huge disadvantage because you got to go to this guy's hometown. So I think Crowder's going to beat you pretty soundly. But you have a chance to prove not, not, not just myself wrong, but the whole boxing world wrong. Because nobody is going to pick you to beat Crawford. So it is what it is. December 10th, Terrence Crawford. Versus John Wayne, I'm not excited for because John Wayne has not won a meaningful fight since 2013 against Mickey Bay, who really was never that good to begin with. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.